It's really late, and I totally forgot to film my video. Look at my fat arms. <laughs> but I decided to come in from the gym. It's really not as dark as it looks in here. It's just because the light is behind me. I live in a secure building, so for all of you worry warts out there, don't worry. So, lots of changes as usual. This is one of those stay encouraged videos. It's Thursday, the week flew by, and I guess I wanna tell people to, and tell myself, to don't be afraid to start again. I'm gonna put you down here. This is like a boring background, but don't be afraid to start again. Even if you failed at something one time, you wanted to do it many years ago, Give yourself permission to restart. Like, there's like all of these quotes out there about like running your own race, staying in your own lane, and just overall not settling. And I think it's hard as you get older not to get comfortable or to get out of your comfort zone. It's also hard to take time to yourself. Like, look what time of night it is. It's almost 11. Some people just left. Um, so, I say that because I'm saying it really to myself to make sure that, that my priorities stay my priorities. It's so easy to take care of other people or to jump from crisis to crisis, from mood to mood, party to party, event to event, bill to bill, <laughs> you know. But what happens if you gave yourself permission to start again and really stayed on track? And I'm not just talking about like fitness, I'm talking about overall. Um, I am a very impulsive person, like, I never even really know, oh look, better lighting, I never even know what day of the week it is because I live my life so fast paced and I'm so used to that, that I really wouldn't have it any other way, but it's still important for me to make time to reach my own goals, and I look so tired right now, right? <laughs> I forgot to take my makeup all the way off. You know? And it's so, like, I'll be very transparent. Like, I have some choices to make right now. And I feel like, oh, if I just would've went to nursing school two years ago, four years ago, and stayed with it, no matter what, it would've been so much easier. But I always felt like that if I did not do that, get the certification, because I don't really wanna be a floor nurse I want to be a nurse for like a law office or a health insurance company doing paperwork. And it's not getting easier to make that happen. So I just gotta push through. I always say like, oh, I'm not arguing with anybody until like the year 2020. I'm not doing this until the year 2020. And then when I look up, that's less than two years away. Ooh, I'm hurting my arm, I'm holding y'all up here. <laughs> that is less than two years away. So when I look around, I'm like, where do I want to be two years from now? I know this is not it, you know? And a lot of times I don't know what it is. I know that I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to feel loved and give love, okay? And I don't mind working hard. I don't mind long hours. I prefer that because I'm not really a frivolous person. I can waste time, but I'm not really a time waster. I like to be productive. And I like to be on the move. I really do. And I really like freedom. And like I used to say, and I still say, to that own self be true and allow everybody else to enjoy their choices. Don't get caught up in being so judgmental about what you don't like and how it shouldn't be and how other people shouldn't be doing this because you're really not doing yourself or anybody else any favors by focusing on everything you don't like or everything that is wrong. 
you know you're not you're just not so it's better to focus on 